11 effortlessly chic staples for summer. Outfit ideas 2022. Hello, I hope you're all well and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be sharing 11 effortlessly chic staples for summer 2022 with a whole host of gorgeous outfit ideas and inspiration. I have some new staples in my wardrobe to show you all and I will be styling some old pieces in new ways for another season. Everything should be very easy for you to recreate and budget wise, most of my outfit ideas today are from the high street so hugely wearable and accessible too. Also, a portion of this video has very kindly been sponsored by Carrot London with their stunning range, Gentle Diamonds. So a little bit of sustainable sparkle coming up for you too. Lots of gorgeous outfit ideas for summer 2022. We better get started. Now, when I think about my favorite summer staples over the last few years, I'll always have at least one jersey dress in the mix. I've been wearing navy a lot recently, so when I spotted this one in organic cotton and retailing at just £29, it was a super fast add to basket moment. Now I must admit, I think I'm pretty fussy when it comes to these sorts of dresses. So I did do a huge search to find the perfect one. I like the scoop around the shoulders to sit nice and wide so it covers that little bulge. And I love to see a woman's collarbone. I think that's really elegant. So this scoop at the neckline needs to be low enough to be able to see that. The general shape needs to be fitted, but not skin tight. And the length on this one, I think is just perfect. Who'd have thought that such an affordable dress could make me this happy? It's pretty sad actually, isn't it? But based on experience, it's these sorts of staples that can work so incredibly hard in your capsule wardrobe. And if I've spent my hard earned pennies on my clothes, I want them to return the favor. You could add a shirt over the top for another layer, tie it in a knot to define your waist. Tube dresses and denim jackets, I think always look great together. Or maybe just utilize the skirt portion and pop a classic tee over the top. So lots of different effortlessly chic outfit ideas with this one and a big tick for finding it in organic cotton too. These next outfit ideas actually contain quite a few of my key wardrobe essentials all in one. Firstly, denim shorts are always a staple for me in summer, and I think it's fairly easy to tweak this style depending on your own personal taste. I do prefer a raw hem as it looks a little bit more casual and laid back, but if you prefer something smarter and maybe a little bit more elegant, there are lots of really lovely pairs about at the moment that I would recommend. I do find them more flattering in high waist options and I try to keep an eye out for alternatives that are long enough to finish at the slimmest portion of my legs. That one is variable, of course, depending on how much money I've been giving to Cadbury's. Slight swerve now, but I have this ridiculous habit which my grandma actually taught me when I was a teenager. She told me that chocolate never actually fills you up, so it's never worth eating the whole bar. Just have one square and let it melt in your mouth. Really try and savor the taste and literally feel all of that lovely chocolate in your mouth. And that then is enough to satisfy the urge. So I spend a an awful lot of time going back and forth to the cupboard to just get one square. She didn't specify that all those squares couldn't be eaten on the same day. Anyhow, I digress a lot. While I don't keep much knitwear in my capsule wardrobe for summer, I do like to have at least a couple on my rail, preferably in cotton, and if they have an interesting knit, all the better. And actually white too, I really love white knitwear, especially once I've got a little bit of a tan. Now, as you'll have seen throughout these two looks, something as simple as a silk scarf can really add quite a polished element to your outfit ideas. Your entire outfit might be hugely affordable, but finishing off with a really beautiful quality scarf will inevitably be what catches the eye. The right staples can end up being some of the most valuable pieces in your wardrobe. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I feel very fortunate to be working with Carrot London again, sharing their hugely sustainable collection, Gentle Diamonds. The concept of Gentle Diamonds is to offer beautiful, one-of-a-kind jewelry, while at the same time being hugely ethical and as environmentally sustainable as possible. I find it fascinating and quite incredible that all of their diamonds are laboratory grown. They have the same physical and elemental properties as mine diamonds 
humans, I literally can't see the difference. And yet it's a far more ethical approach for the industry. And while we're thinking of ways to look a little more effortlessly chic this summer, a sprinkle of sustainable sparkle sounds like a very good idea. So as you'll have seen throughout this footage, I have three items from the Gentle Diamonds collection. I actually gasped when I opened the box. They are so stunning. Definitely the perfect special gift for yourself or maybe a loved one. The Petra necklace has been made using 18 karat yellow gold and these stunning bezel set diamonds dotted along the chain. Adding a touch of sparkle into my outfits but it's done in a really beautiful and elegant fashion. Thinking of keeping my look hugely timeless and quite minimal I then opted to try the classic diamond stud earrings in 18 karat yellow gold. I really love the simplicity of these timeless pieces forever jewellery really that could be worn with any outfit idea. To complete the look I chose the Romy bracelet in 18 karat yellow gold. However, it is also available in white gold if you prefer. It features a small but perfectly formed diamond on a simple and elegant chain, just my cup of tea. Along with their ready to wear gentle diamonds, they also offer a lovely service where you can select the perfect ring for your personal style. You choose your setting and your diamond just the way you want it. I love how ethical, sustainable, and very socially aware the brand is, and based on my own personal experience wearing this brand, it is definitely a collection that I would highly recommend. I'd really advise you have a read about their laboratory diamond process. It is so clever and really wonderful to see a brand being so very conscious. I've linked all the jewelry that I'm wearing today in the description box below. And I've also added a little bit of a wish list of my other favorite pieces new in store. So do take a look at that at the end of this video. Who else is a lover of linen? I think we're all over the crease issue now, aren't we? And I have to say, it's one of my all time favorite summer fabrics. I just find it a must have for a really luxe summer wardrobe. And the more of it, the better, in my humble opinion. It keeps you cool in the heat, feels lovely to wear, washes brilliantly, lasts for ages, and generally is hugely affordable too. I really love linen dresses. David actually thinks I am obsessed buying them now, but I just love how they make me feel all light and floaty and quite feminine. So with the notion that I may already have enough linen dresses in mind, I actually opted for this very pretty top recently from a beautiful French brand called Rosé Paris. It's chic on trend, made from upcycled linen, and is so beautifully made, I absolutely love it. Now, if I was doing a capsule wardrobe, I would probably categorize this one as one of those unique pieces that are really nice to have on your rail. But I found myself wearing it on a weekly basis recently, so it's actually become a bit of a staple for me too. I like wearing it with contrasting white jeans. I think that really makes the top stand out even more, and those pretty frills just fall gently over my waistband. I'd also style it with summer skirts. I'd wear it with the denim shorts that I showed you before, and maybe even double up your linen and pair with tailored chinos too. I think that would look really nice. I do love a gorgeous camisole top, and I think it's fair to say that I have a little collection going on all on its own. I have a couple in silk, which I tend to wear a lot. I find those especially helpful under blazers actually in summer. So if we're thinking about effortlessly chic staples that I personally wear on repeat, a lovely cami or two is definitely on my list. This one I'm wearing today was actually a hugely affordable option for my wardrobe, retailing at 28 pounds. Now it's been made from a blend of linen and viscose and has little buttons down the center and thin spaghetti straps. I'm wearing a UK 10 here, which is my usual size, so I would say the fit is very slightly loose, but nicely so, I think. Now I've styled it today with another chic staple for summer, my gorgeous linen blend pleated trousers. I love the quality of those trousers, and I think they look more expensive than they actually were. Now they're also available in navy, which was very tempting, but as I didn't have any khaki trousers in linen, I thought I'd go for something a bit different. COS just generally make the best trousers. They always have such a gorgeous shape that fits just right, or just right for how I like trousers anyhow, and I know I never have to worry about what fabric they're using. I finished this outfit idea with sprinkles of tan with my flat sandals and tote, both bought from two equally lovely independent brands that I shop at. 
As always, I shall link everything that I feature today in the description box below. If you just tap show more, it will open out with all the links and then also the links there to my other social media channels. Now, I've been shopping for our holidays a bit recently. We are off to Turkey with the boys to what looks like a really lovely resort called the Lara Barrett. It's either Lara Barrett Collection or Lara Barrett Hotel, I'm not really sure. So fingers crossed, it's as nice as it looks and I cannot wait to get myself in the sunshine. Has anyone been to Turkey recently? I haven't been since I was about 20 years old, so a long time, and it's probably vastly different to what I remember. So if anyone's got any tips of where we should go or little islands that we should try and visit, do let me know in the comment section. So with this in mind, I had a little shop at Arquette who have some great pieces for some holidays. I'm really loving their open work knits. They do some great stripes, of course, and I have a great love for their toweling fabric they've been using. I don't know what it is about that particular fabric. Maybe it's some sort of childhood memory or something that I can't quite pinpoint, but it always makes me feel so nice. I really love it. So while this is not the most glamorous or chic look I've ever shown, it is ridiculously comfy. And the importance of which should never be underestimated. I do love it when I find a summer dress that can tick many boxes at the same time, like this embroidered dress that I'm wearing today, for instance. Now, although this particular dress is old, she has bought out an almost identical version for this summer. And as I wear this one so much, I really wanted to share with you how I would style it. I wear this as a cover up on my holidays. I wear it in the evening for dinner, and I even wear it in the daytime when it's hot and I just want something light and quite floaty. Key staples for me are all about versatility. Can I style it in lots of different ways and will I end up wearing it on repeat? And if you're answering yes to those questions, you can feel pretty safe with the investment for your wardrobe. Something like this is never going to date either. It's just a very pretty beach dress. And the joy of items like this is that you can tweak with the styling each summer to make it feel a little bit more up to date or on trend. Add in some chunkier sandals if you wanted to tick that particular trend box or style it with kitten heels in the color of the season. I do try and avoid one hit wonder summer dresses. And instead I look for pieces that I know will really last. Sometimes that means I save more budget for this area of style staples, but the cost per wear often levels out pretty quickly. Chic staples for summer don't get much more basic than a simple t-shirt, but this is one area that I happen to research so much for. Probably too much research if I'm honest, but I do really see the value in finding the perfect t-shirt for my outfit ideas. So when I find one like this made from organic cotton in my favorite shade of camel and with an under 20 pounds price tag, I knew I had to snap it up. Actually, I should really go back and get it in the white too. And I just spotted earlier it in the gray. See how my mind works when I'm shopping. Now I went for this in the small and as you can see, it's coming up fairly over Sized, which I personally like, but obviously if you prefer your t-shirts a little more fitted, you might consider sizing down. It's funny actually, because someone said to me recently, staples are so boring, it all looks the same. And actually I think the complete opposite. I don't wanna fill my wardrobe with one hit wonders that are so on trend that I'll never get my wear out of them. Dolled up to the nines like a Christmas tree, dripping in designer clothes, but without any true style coming through. I honestly think you can style staples in such a way that looks really effortlessly chic and all the while not blowing the budget either. Of course you can add nods to the trends and a sprinkle of your favorite designer pieces would look really elegant too but it's really those timeless classics that will always get their money's worth in your wardrobe. Now I talk a lot about how to look effortlessly chic on my YouTube channel, mainly because it's my favorite kind of style to aim for in my own looks. I just love to feel put together and really polished, but with a side portion of undone nonchalance about the look. I hate looking or feeling dolled up to the nines and I much prefer that less is more approach, which leads me to the humble vest top, a wardrobe staple that's gone straight to the top of my list for summer 2022. Now, while you can go 
go for some of the very simple designs that I've seen popping up on the high street recently, which I might add can look equally chic. I've really enjoyed shopping for options that have some really original details and shapes to bring that little extra special something into my outfit ideas. Now these two particularly have such interesting necklines. It really makes the outfit ideas stand out, but in a really subtle way. I feel very stylish and elegant, but it's still very much everyday chic. And depending on what I'm doing, I can very easily dress these looks up or down for day or night. I think often people can have a tendency to overlook simple pieces like this, but it's these sorts of staples that I actually find invaluable for my summer wardrobe. Chic summer trousers for me would have to be in linen. And my two favorites at the moment would either be the khaki pair that I showed you before or these classic ones that I have in beige. Ironically, when I first bought these a year ago now, I think it was, I nearly sent them back to the shop. I was worried that I wouldn't get my use out of them, but just one quick look at my daily outfits on Instagram shows how very wrong I was. With the high waist and the slight crop, they are particularly on trend at the moment too. But in terms of my perfect staples for summer, these are going to work in five, probably even 10 years time. They're just hugely timeless, which is probably why I like them so much. Now I've styled them here with one beautiful striped silk shirt that I got recently and I absolutely love it. I can't tell you how nice that fabric feels against my skin. And I love that pretty oversized shape contrasting with those fairly tailored trousers too. Now, though I've added black accessories, this would work if you wanted to go more muted with say taupe or possibly even add a pop of color would really brighten up that outfit idea. Two classic staples with my trusty loafers, which coincidentally I really should replace, but they are just so very comfy. I am keeping them until they fall apart on me. Now, if you're not a fan of denim shorts, or maybe you just want to have something a little bit more tailored to hand, then my lovely new ones that I just bought from Cezanne might be the perfect option. I love the fit of these almost as much as I love the fabric that they've used. Definitely a staple for me in summer that I will wear year after year after year. Now, I actually spotted these shorts in winter time, I think it was. They did a leather version, which look very cute, styled with tights. But I then remembered that I am always cold Old, so I probably wouldn't have got my uses out of them. But in summer, that is a whole different matter. Nipped in at the waist with this added belt to cinch it in tighter if you wish, they create this really flattering shape at the waistband. And then those perfectly placed pleats <laughs> make them feel super chic and smart enough for when you want to feel a little bit more polished. Now on holiday, I would probably wear them with flat sandals, but out shopping or maybe around town, I'd more than likely style them with valley flats. Styled with my silk cami that I was waffling on about before, it feels like an easy, breezy, yet elegant outfit idea for summer. The joy of having some great chic and timeless separates in your summer wardrobe is that you will find you can mix and match those pieces in so many different ways. This pretty linen skirt, for instance, is actually part of a different set, but I've styled it today with another cami that I seem to be wearing a lot too. But it would also go with pretty much every other top that I've shared in this video. Even the oversized silk shirt would look really lovely with it perhaps tied in a knot at the waistband and, and maybe even a headscarf in my hair to add a little bit of color. Now I received the skirt from a previous collaboration that I did with Lulu's, but it was so affordable, it's worth taking another peek at their current collection. I shall link some of my new in favorites from their website in the description box below for you to take a look at at the end of this video. But the original set was $89, which I think is about 60 pounds, so really reasonable. Looking effortlessly chic doesn't have to mean spending a fortune. I personally think it's more about shopping around and really doing your research before you buy or popping by my channel and watching what I've researched for you instead. I tend to look what's new in stores on a daily basis, and I'm always on the hunt for those little gems. 
finding the highest quality that I can afford, but making sure the prices are fair and honest at the same time. And if I can find a sustainable fabric amongst it too, then you know I'm sold. And that's it, 11 effortlessly chic staples and outfit ideas that I've been wearing on repeat this summer 2022. Don't forget to let me know your favorite outfit in the comments section below. It's always really lovely hearing from you all. It's sunny today, so I'm off to go get a little bit of heat on my skin for five minutes and have a nice cup of tea. Have a wonderful week, everyone. I shall see you on Sunday.